My next guest started her career in Australia. Uh, since then, she's appeared in nightclub and TV all over the world. Uh, she is a singer with an individual singing style, which is rare. Will you welcome, please, Miss Lana Cantrell. I haven't seen you in a long time. No, since the daytime show, actually. That's right. That's good. And when we were in Chicago together years ago. And At Hefner's house, I think. That's right. You remember that? You remember oh, me? Yes, yes, I do. I have a Swiss director I hate. <laughs> <laughs> really, but he was a television director. Had the same thing. Really thick. Wanted to do everything his way. But I'm not sure if he was Swiss. Because he used to click his heels occasionally. So I'm not sure about him. Did you ever seize this person by the neck and... Um, if, no, I used to keep putting my person, hands in the television it, cameras. Yeah, I just blocked my, the cameras out. He was really thick. He had everything set the way he wanted to do it and would have nothing to do with the way I wanted to do it or anything. So it's maybe it was the same guy. Do you realize the odds <laughs> against two people having... That sounds exactly like this guy. <laughs> he had it all mapped out and that's the way it was going to I'm be. I'm sorry, Dick, what? Let's see how more, many more parallels there are. Did you ever rob the company store? <laughs> Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. Isn't that what you said you did once? Yeah, I, I was wishing I hadn't said it. Now you're repeating it. <laughs> you're worse. Sorry. Did you ever steal anything? Yeah. I used to mop things when I was a teenager. Is that an Australian expression, mop to things? To mop things, yeah. It's like shoplifting, I guess, is the correct term. I loved it. You, you, you too used to... And Bruns? We're going to have to have honest people on to give them equal time. <laughs> like, well, that's interesting. I think as a kid, almost you mop everybody things at in the some dark point. At night? No, in the show. Oh, I see. Little things. That's why it's called mop. I, I guess suppose. so. I think it's more English than Australian. To mop English things. You use scrum up in English, we don't you? Swap. No, no. Or scrum. Scrum. Yes, scrum. Yes, scrum. Scrumping. scrumping is pinching apples or pinching. Uh, right, nicking things. And pinching. Yeah, nicking or nicking things. Yeah. Pinching that's is swiping. It makes it sound like it doesn't yeah. matter much, you know. <laughs> that's right, it makes it sound like it's not a crime, whereas actually you're both sitting there. Gonna get a subpoena tomorrow. To crimes. Oh. That's right, if the statute of limitations hasn't run out, they may oh. get you both. But it's no, they already got me. So they don't have to worry that's about right, that. they did. Yeah. Yes, they didn't shoot me. Yeah. They didn't catch me. Have you ever been arrested for anything? Yes. Have you really? <laughs> oh, how to. Yes. Not long ago, actually. In I, didn't mean to, I don't mean to be so probing and personal in this. I don't know. No, I got I arrested for um, for speeding, but they handcuffed me and took me to prison because of it. Wow. Well, I wouldn't sign the citation, uh -huh. and I didn't know that you had to. Were, were you within your rights, or did you think you were? I in thought your I right was. Right? They were supposed to explain it to me that you signed the citation. It didn't actually mean that you were guilty. He said that I was recklessly driving and speeding, and I wasn't. I was in a little Volkswagen on an empty road in Las Vegas, and so he handcuffed me. Gee. Yeah, it was lots of fun. You mean he actually clamped the cuffs yes. on and locked them? Locked me into a car and took me and put me in a little prison. Because uh, uh, I was not having a good time at all. Did you have to call a lawyer and all of that? Oh, yes, they set bail for me. No, none of my friends will believe that I was not doing anything. They said, you must have been harassing him, saying that. I didn't do anything. He just started in with me. And how did this come out? Uh, the, I got out on bail and the court thing came up and it was like I got a speeding fine eventually. They said he was out of line. He shouldn't have arrested me. So you, you, you won, actually? I won, sort of, but now I have a, a record, I guess. I wonder what that'll... Well, a singer having a record isn't unusual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, almost let that pass. <laughs> I, I would like a record. regular okay. record. Uh, if you can sell a million copies of your speeding record, <laughs> you're doing very well. Well, is that so important to a singer's career to sell a million copies, or is that just a trade? Uh, I know often when I introduce a singer, I point out they have a gold record, they've sold a million copies. Yes, I have none of those. Um, yes, it's very important. Uh, I would be a much, much bigger star if I had a hit record. I don't know about the million mark, but... Is uh, that important? Yes. What if you sell 989,000? Do you get honorable mention or anything? I think so, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Any, I don't even think you have to sell a million today for it to be a hit. I think the number has gone down somewhat. But well, who uh, determines a hit? I mean, how do you know if it's a hit? In the theater, it's a hit if it runs a long time. But uh, is there a number? Or are there a certain group of people, of disc jockeys, who never say this is a hit? Never having been in that situation, never having had, I don't know. And yet you work all the time. It hasn't held you back. Your... I know. It's really weird. Um, my agents and people, it's like a phenomenon. I have never had a hit record. I've never done a, a series of anything. I've not had a Broadway show or anything. And I do, for some reason. I have an underground cult of people that follow me around the country. The Cantrellites. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you, and you, don't, you don't miss Australia? Uh, 
Yes, I go back about once a year. I have terrible trouble when I go home. The press hates me. And it really doesn't make for very good... What did you do there? I left. Oh, they don't like uh, people to leave? No, They don't like no. expatriates? When I came back, um, the that? headlines in the paper, instead yeah. of saying something nice about she's back or something, right? Yeah. The headlines were Lana Cantrell checks out of hotel because of bed situation, which I thought was... I, they didn't have double beds, so I checked out, but I hardly thought that was the need to go for a woman in the paper. Because of bed situation? Mm. Huh. <laughs> had nothing to do with me. And you won't, you won't accept... Uh, what's the maximum width that you require? Uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have minded if they could have stuck them together, but there was a thing in the middle that wouldn't come out. Yeah. And you like to be able to roll yes. around? Yes, that's what I like. <laughs>